I've had a couple people ask me about my plane and my OSD setup, so I figured I'd post a video tonight. Just got the OSD working tonight, and it works good. Well, here's my plane. I just uh, I tried to scratch build a couple planes, and some of them didn't fly that good, so I just broke down and bought this really generic E-Flight Apprentice, and it's working really good for me. I think that uh, a conventional plane with a motor in the front, high wing, is the way to go for this uh, video flying. This, uh, you get this trimmed out right, and basically if it's not that windy, you just let go of the controls, and you just look around and let it go. And the only problem with this conventional plane is, is the uh, propeller. You might get a little of the propeller in the picture, but you can see what I was thinking with this... Uh, homemade pod that I made. It's high enough <clears throat> excuse me, that it only gets a little of the propeller in the picture and I, I, so far I think this is the way to go. I had an easy star and I it was just uh, it was just not as not as easy to fly which flying by video is hard enough. This thing just flies straight and level on its own even if it's a little windy and making that pod like that then I can take that it's just velcroed on the wing and I can take that and put it onto any other planes. That camera seems to be working good. It was actually pretty cheap, but it seems to be working good. And the 900 megahertz video uh, video transmitter is working really good. I think that's a good frequency. That's that's uh, being a radio guy. I uh, I think uh, that's a good frequency. And tonight I got my OSD working. I think this easy OSD is the way to go. You can see the light flashing. It's not getting a GPS signal in the house, but I think this is the way to go. It was easy to wire up, and it worked the first time. It figured out the menus, and it worked the first time, so I think it's the way to go. And uh, here's what it looks like on the screen. Upper left is speed. Center is direction. Upper right is altitude battery info across the bottom and uh, I think that alarm is because of this doesn't have a GPS signal now here in the house but it actually works it's all powered by a uh, just a plug-in device that just that's it right there it just plugs in between the battery and the speed controller powers the whole thing and that's what gives the uh, the information on the battery and if all this works I could even see, I even have a ham radio station here, I could even see that's hooked up to a UHF antenna that's about 40 feet up. If all this works, I could even see getting the easy UHF, uh, easy UHF set up and hooking that into my antenna and putting my patch antenna up on my tower. And who knows how far I could go there. So that's, so far this is working out. Stay tuned for more.